What's going on guys, Boost Auto here, and today we're gonna to show you how to install power folding mirrors for 1999 through 2002 Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra. So let's get into it. Boost Auto is proud to present tow mirrors now available with power fold for your 1999 to 2002 Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra trucks. Our Boost Auto wireless module gives you the option to upgrade to power folding capabilities hassle-free even if your truck did not originally come with it. Our patented wireless technology integrates seamlessly to your existing mirror controls that allow a clean, hassle-free install. Enjoy great visibility while towing or daily driving alike even in the harshest weather. Don't let your factory configuration hold you back. Enjoy customizable mirror caps, marker lights, and so many more premium options. So what are you waiting for? Build out your mirrors on our website and put in your order today. As always, to check filament availability and to purchase this or any other products for your truck, visit BoostAuto.com. Here's a list of tools you'll need for your install. You can pause here to collect them, then let's proceed with the installation. For your power forward wireless kit, your kit will include your left and your right tow mirror, as well as the needed wireless modules and harnesses. For your power fold wireless module kit, you'll get your driver's side wireless module and your passenger side wireless module. The driver's side will have two connectors on the bottom, while the passenger side will only have one single one. And the driver's side will have two of the harnesses, while the passenger side will only have one. Your kit will come with your extension harnesses and if you option for it, the fuse taps. The extension harness will have an orange wire if you option for running the light, the only option for turn signal, it will not have the orange wire. Your kit will also contain your inline fuse taps as well as the red T-taps to tap to the wires on your truck. Before we begin installation, we're gonna go ahead and roll the front windows down. Go ahead and open the hood. Next on the driver's side, we could go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal at our battery. If you have an auxiliary battery, we could disconnect that at this time too. Back on the driver's side, we can go ahead and start with mirror removal. We're gonna go ahead and remove the triangular plastic piece up top. And the sound deadening behind it. Remove the door lock lever. Next, you can remove the door handle trim cover. Now with all the trim panels out of the way, we'll go ahead and start with removing the hardware behind the door locking tab. Remove the next bolt behind the door grab handle. Now we have another bolt at the bottom of the door panel. With those out of the way, make sure you don't have any other bolts or trim clips on the outside of the door panel. Now we can go ahead and remove the door panel, go ahead and lift up and pull off. Now go ahead and disconnect the connectors, go into your window switch. Also, if you have this connector, disconnect it at this time too. If you have an interior door panel bulb, you could go ahead and remove it at this time. However, this vehicle does not have one. With those removed, you can now remove the door panel from the truck. Go ahead and remove the mirror connector. Now we can remove the three nuts holding in the mirror. Make sure while you're removing, you're supporting the mirror. Now go ahead and pinch in these clips and remove the mirror. Start by removing the dongle that is already plugged into the mirror harness. Go ahead and feed your harness through. Once the harness is fed through, you can go ahead and start mounting your mirror to your vehicle. Once the studs are lined up, go ahead and install your nuts. Using your 10 you can go ahead and tighten the nuts down all the way. Go ahead and repeat the same steps on the passenger side. Go 
where your mirror harness ran through, go ahead and plug in your dongle. Go ahead and plug in your tow mirror harness to your factory door harness. Next, you're gonna go ahead and plug in your extension harness. Now, if you option for turn signal, you will not have the orange wire that is for running light. Release the door jam boot. To do so, there's a tab on the bottom and a tab on the top. Take your extension harness and route it down to your door jam boot. We're gonna slide it up top to the triangular piece and down below. Feed it to your door jam boot. Now go ahead and pull the slack through. However, leave some room so you don't have any chafing. Feed a strained out metal piece, in this case a coat hanger, through the door jam boot. Tape the extension harness to the end of the coat hanger. Pull the harness through. However, be sure to leave some slack. Untape the harness. Next is to route the harness into the cabin. Before we route the harness in, we're gonna go ahead and remove this kick panel and peel back this kick panel. Lift up on the panel here. To do so, we're using the trim tool. You can hear it pop out of place. With that now released, we can go ahead and peel this one out. Feed the harness into the cabin. After you feed it through, pull the harness through. Pull it all the way through, but leave some slack. Reinstall the door jam boot. Go ahead and repeat the same steps on the passenger side. Take the end of the extension harness to a strain out metal piece or a coat hanger and route it to the driver's side. Feed the harness behind the dash to the other side of the vehicle. Pull the harness through. Untape the harness. We're gonna tap at the BCM. To get to the BCM, we're gonna remove the lower panel under the steering column that's held in by two screws. Remove the bolt. Remove the panel. With the panel removed, locate this connector all the way on the left at the BCM. Proceed with unplugging it. We'll start with tapping to the right turn signal. The right turn signal is located in B7. B7 is located on the bottom row, six over from the left. Using the provided red T-tap from Rekip, tap to the wire. For left-hand turn signal, we'll be tapping to B6. B6 is on the bottom row of the connector, six from the right. Using the provided red T-tap from Rekip, tap to the wire. Go ahead and install your fuse taps with the spade connector side and to the T-tap. These taps are included in your kit and it does not matter which side they go on, they are universal. For passenger side, we're tapping at B7. Locate your blue wire coming from the passenger side and crimp it to the butt connector. We'll start with sizing the wire and cutting the wire. Now we can strip it. Once done, connect it to the butt connector. V6 will be the driver's side turn signal. Go ahead and grab the blue wire from your driver's side, size it up, and then cut the wire, then strip. Now you can proceed with connecting it to the butt connector. Proceed with plugging the connector back in. Next, we will be looking for our ground connection. Our ground connection will be located behind the OBD2 port and the parking brake release. It will be the stud located right here. Remove the nut here. You'll grab the black wire from the driver's side and the passenger side door harness. Once you locate it, go ahead and size up the wire to the ground stud. Go ahead and cut and strip both ends of the wire. Once done, take the eyelet from your kit and crimp it to the black wire. We could go ahead and install the eyelet to the stud, then reinstall the nut. With the turn signal and ground wire now installed, let's go ahead and put back the trim panel under the steering wheel. 
We install the two 7 millimeter bolts located at the bottom. We're going to grab the white wire from the driver's side and the white wire from the passenger side and route it under hood. If you option for running light, you will also route the orange wire from the driver and passenger side to the under hood. Go ahead and take your white wires and cut and strip both ends. Make sure you have enough slack when passing it inside the cabin. Go ahead and strip both ends. Combine the passenger and driver's side white wires together. This method we're using a butt connector, however any method can be used. Now grab the excess wire you just cut and crimp it to the other side. If you option for running light, perform the same steps on the orange wire. Grab the excess wire that was just cut and install it on the other end. Proceed with heat shrinking the butt connector. On the driver's side, back by the firewall, go ahead and partially pass the flattened out metal piece through. Once the flattened out metal piece pokes through the cabin, go ahead and partially pull it through. Tape the end of the wires to the flattened out metal piece. Once it's taped, pull it back through under hood. With the wires ran through, remove the fuse box lid. We will start with the reverse light wire. This will be going to this 10 amp fuse over here, the trailer backup fuse. We'll start by installing the inline fuse. Go ahead and cut and strip the wire. If option for crimp the unlined fuse. We will be installing it at the trailer backup fuse. For this vehicle, it is right here. However, it is recommended with referencing your fuse box lid cover for location. Go ahead and remove the fuse. Once removed, install it in the bottom slot of the inline fuse and install it where the fuse was just removed. Now, if you option for running light, go ahead and cut and strip the wire and then install the inline fuse. Locate the front park lamp fuse. For this vehicle, it is right here. However, like said, please reference the back of your fuse box to determine the location. Proceed with removing the fuse. Install the fuse to the lower slot of the inline fuse tap. Go ahead and install it in the fuse that was just removed. Reinstall the fuse box lid. Back on the driver's side, we'll start with our powerful wireless module installation. Go ahead and grab your harness with the two white connectors and the one black connector. And connect it to the tow mirror harness. They are slotted so they cannot be installed incorrectly. Go ahead and grab your other wireless module harness and locate your black two pin connector with the blue and yellow wire. Take this connector and plug it into your tow mirror harness. For this application, we won't use this black two pin connector with the orange wires, so go ahead and tape it out of the way. You'll start with tapping to power. You're gonna use this connector and we're gonna be tapping at pin F. With the connector tab on top, pin F is on the top row all the way to the top right. You take the red T tab from your kit and tap here. Go ahead and take the red wire from your wireless door harness and connect it to the T-tap here. Next, you will locate this connector. You will be tapping for ground at pin M, which is on the bottom row, all the way towards the right with the connector tab pointing up. Grab a blue T-tap from your kit and continue with the tapping. Press until it clicks in place. Grab the black wire with the quick disconnect and plug it into the T-tap. Go ahead and mount the wireless module to the driver's side. The driver's side module will have two connectors. For this vehicle, we're mounting it right here. Using a pick, poke through the foam. Once done, feed a zip tie through the hole. And then secure the module in place. Go ahead and grab your other wireless module harness and locate your black two pin connector with the blue and yellow wire. Take this connector and plug it into your tow mirror harness. For this application, we won't use this black two pin connector with the orange wires, so go ahead and tape it out of the way. For this connector, we'll be tapping to pin M. Pin M is on the bottom row all the way to the right with the connector tab pointing up. Take the blue T-tap from your kit and tap to pin M. Take the red wire with the quick disconnect and connect it to the T-tap. For the ground wire, we'll be tapping to pin G. Pin G is on the bottom row, all the way to the left with the connector tab pointing up. Take the blue T-tab from your kit and tap the wire. Take the black wire with the quick disconnect and plug it in. Install the passenger side module. 
similar to the driver's side. Here's a little more about how to use the wireless feature. To begin, start by activating the modules. Do this by selecting the left mirror. Then use the left left right right sequence to activate the module. Once you hear two fast beeps, the modules are activated. While the modules are active, the mirror glass will not adjust. Once the modules are activated, you may power fold. Tap up to fold the mirrors out, or tap down to fold the mirrors in. You may see the passenger side mirrors start folding slightly after the driver's side due to the module communicating from side to side. To deactivate the modules, you will have two options. The first option will be to let the modules time out. If there is no activity for 10 seconds, the modules will automatically deactivate. You can also deactivate the modules manually by using the left left right right sequence on the mirror switch. You will hear three fast beeps once the modules are deactivated. Once the modules are deactivated, any left hand mirror adjustment will be slightly delayed to prevent erratic manual activation. Starting on the driver's side of the truck, plug in the two connectors to the wireless power fold module. Now put the harness out of the way. Now we can plug in the rest of the connectors. Install the bulb at the bottom of the door panel. This truck does not have one, but if you have one, go ahead and reinstall it. Reinstall the door panel. Reinstall the three screws holding in the door panel. We'll start at the top. Next one behind the door grab. And at the bottom of the door panel. Reinstall the door lock cover. Reinstall the door trim panel. Reinstall the foam. And the triangular trim piece. Reinstall the kick panel. Lift up on the lower trim and install it. Reinstall the door panel in the same fashion as the driver's side. Please note, on this side you will only have one connector going to the wireless power fold module. Reconnect the negative battery terminal. And test to make sure it works. That wraps up this installation for our Boost Auto power folding tow mirrors. If you like this product or are interested in any other of our products, head on over to BoostAuto.com. Stay up to date on our latest releases and videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's all for now. We'll catch you in the next one.